Hi everyone, uh, this here is a box of uh, basic wet flies, spider patterns or soft hackles, uh, mainly for the river, though they do fish well in the locks, you can easily fish these in the locks. Uh, but this is a nice set of flies I'm putting together. Now I'm just going to work, I'm going to tie some set of modern versions, if you want to call it, of the traditional soft tackle spider patterns, uh, like the water hen blower, uh, in this case snipe and purple and so on. But this is the caddis pupa, it's a soft tackle caddis pupa. Uh, they're tied much the same. Uh, basically, I don't know, I'll come in a wee bit closer so you can see it. And uh, you'll see what I mean. So it's got the soft tackle. And uh, but it's got a wee bit of horns on it just to give the impression of the the caddis. Now these work well for me in different colours. This is probably one of my favourites. Is this one? Uh, there's a brown version that works quite well. Just a hair's ear body and a brown thorax. But this is uh, this is probably one of the, the better ones. Now hook choice. You can basically tie it in a standard hook. As you can see, I've got a size twelve. In this case, and 12s, 14s and 16s is a good three sizes in this fly, uh, and it is an easy pattern to tie in smaller sizes. Now, thread, I'm going to stick to the Piersel's thread silks. These are the old silks used for tying the standard soft tackle wets, and uh, it's just I'm going to continue with that. With the other colours, I changed to either brown thread or orange, which work really well. Now the first thing I've got to do is to wax the thread, especially the silk. Uh, they need you need to wax these. Now to tie the soft tackle caddis pupa uh, is quite simple. Hook choice is again it's up to yourself. I'm tying it on a standard. This is an all-purpose medium size twelve. Now uh, twelves, fourteens, sixteens. You can easily tie this fly. So if you've got a caddis, you've got a colour combination, then try it. Now. Basically, uh, start at the eye, because you see you've got to wax the threads, I say. It just protects it and gives you more grip. Now, removing the waist, and I'm going to wind to the point of the hook, to there. And then a dubbing, I'm using, in this case, this is a natural coloured, uh, it's a mix. This is a, this one here is from, I found it really works really well, it's from SLF, this is a Davy Watton. Uh, Squirrel dub, um, whoopsie, I think it does that now. In this case, it's called bleach ginger, so it's it's just a nice colour. It's a it's a nice light natural colour. It's very good for caddis. So basically, I'm going to lightly dub it on, slide it up. But you use what you've got. I mean, you just use whatever you have. Now what I'm doing is I'm just getting it basically the dubbing. Uh, to, to catch uh, onto the body and then I can control it a bit better by tightening up or slightly loosening off when I need to to get a nice shape in the body. And don't be shy with the body thickness of the cardus pupa. And uh, you want these wee legs to pop out, that's why I like the squirrel dub. And you can see how it just more very natural like. And I'm just going to, when I get to about thorax length away, from the eye, I just draw it back. There we are, happy with that. And then I'm going to wind the hackle. Now I'm using this is the hen pheasant wing. I don't know if you can see it there, but they've got these lovely, well marked feathers. These are just grey wee feathers. Now you get darker light depending on uh, the bird that you've got. These are quite light. They've got a nice dark centre there. So, and look at the length you want. You want it to come to at least the end of the body. So I'm going to tie this in by the tip. So I'm going to reveal the tip of the, the feather. Now these are the covert feathers as they would call them. So just as I say, reveal the tip, cut away what you don't need, and leave enough to, basically so you can tie it in. Now it's important that you wax your thread, make sure you get plenty of grip. Just lightly folding it, just to get it to sit the way I want before I start to wind. So, one. You're only going to get, and I've only got enough fibre here for it, like a couple of turns. You could even go less than this, but I'm quite happy with that. A couple of turns to catch the hackle in. 
trim away the waste. Yeah, I'm going to put horns on it. I'm going to use this is a bronze mallard feather. Now for this one, I'm going to use the grey side. So there's two nice speckled grey side there. I want bring two fibres out. Just get them to sit the way you want. Just have a look. Fold the fibres back, and don't be shy with the dressing. Hard cardus pupa are quite uh, quite heavy. If you see them in the water. I'm just going to trim away the excess here. Wind the thread to the eye. And then I'm going to change to uh, the squirrel dub. In this case, in this case, it's black. Just lightly dub it onto your thread. Slide it up. Now we're going to work from base of the eye up, tighten when we need to. Try not flatten or tie on to the, the hackle, try stop before it. You'll see if you're going too far, or watch, if you go too far, it will collapse, so just come back. You want it to try and keep the legs or the, the hackle open, just bind your thread back through to the head. Now you could change it, change the thread to black, but I'll just keep it the same. And, uh, and then for the, usually by a dubbed head, first thing is make sure all your dubbing's drawn back. Uh, I like to put some varnish on my thread and then quite finish it and it locks it in. The three turns is fine. And there we are. And that's basically the soft tackle cardus pupa. You see it's it's just a nice style. Use that style and change the colour. I'll be tying a few different variants of it. So, I'm just going to draw some of that back. And there we go. And that's the, the soft tackle caddis pupa. As I say, there's many colours you can you can do, and sizes, I mean, just reduce the size. It's a very delicate wee fly. It is made for fishing closer to the surface. It's a, it's a great top topper, a dropper type part in that. And uh, as I say, it's a great style and simple to tie. So. I hope you enjoyed that and thank you for watching.